Hello again boys and girls in YouTube land, uh, this is Dave from Freaky Sally 4000 and today um, I am officially uh, giving it its um, grand appearance on my channel it is my new 12 string Dean Rhapsody bass so let's give it a round of applause um, <laughs> uh, yeah no um, I can't believe I got one of these um, I, it just happened to appear on YouTube one day as uh, eBay sorry one day and I was like oh fuck you know I called the guy up from Australia to I think it was New Jersey or somewhere, and um, yeah, I was like, hey, is this for real? Are you really selling one of these for, um, I think it was about 700 Australian at the time, our dollar was a bit stronger, this was only October last year, and um, yeah, he goes, yeah, man, it's for real, his feedback on eBay was 100%, so I was like, oh, okay, and this thing arrived in the mail, and um, fuck, I love it, man, I love this thing so much, everyone should have one of these, they are so, it's, it's a completely different animal to... Um, um, you know, your regular um, four string, five string, six string bass, you know, your bass with only one course. And, uh, what I mean by course is similar to a 12 string guitar, you have pairs of strings, but the, the proper terminology is course. So you have E, E, A, A, D, D, G, G. This has courses in triples, so it is E, 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 A, 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 D, 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 G, G, G. So you have a natural chorus effect when you play. Um, you can play with fingers of course, but um, I think most 12 string players prefer with a pick just so you have that more attack and uh, yeah, the, str the strings ring out a bit more. But it sounds fine played with fingers as well, it just takes a, it's a bit funny to get used to, you know, uh, without making a mess of things I suppose. Anyway, uh, what I thought we'd do today is the, um, the classic 12 string bass song and that's Jeremy by Pearl Jam. Um, yeah, it's like one of the first songs I learned back when I was 17, 18, picking up bass and learning it, and just never thought I'd own a, an actual 12 string. Um, you probably noticed I have an 8 string, and I bought that uh, quite a few years ago now, but um, this is something else, I must say. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll work through the parts, block by block. Um, I might eventually do a video, because what I've noticed is no one's actually done a... There's an 8 string cover, I've noticed, on YouTube, where someone's jamming along on an 8-string Schecter, I think. Uh, but yeah, if I get around to it, I'll be the first to do a 12-string Jeremy on YouTube, and won't that just be nice? Um, I'm going to get lots of views. Wow. Anyway, um, yep, so let's give it a go. Now, the intro to this song um, is actually two 12-string basses. It's an overdub that Jeff Ament did in the studio, obviously. What I do is... Rather than fretting the 5th fret, now let's just play the main bit, it's in the key of A of course, and what you're working with is an open A, a hammer on from your D to your E, and then A, up an octave, yep, so you're working within the um, open strings, the open A, and then a 5th fret on your A string, 7th fret on your A string, 7th fret on your D string, 5th fret on your D string. So you're really only fretting 4 notes in this um, throughout the majority of the song. So what I do, instead of fretting in the intro only, what I do instead of fretting the G, which is the 5th fret on the D string, I actually allow it to ring open. Because this allows me to come up the neck and perform the um, harmonics that need to be played. So what I do is this. I might have done that back to front. So there's three sets and then the build up into the main riff and um, my apologies I got those harmonics in the wrong order so the first one is this <laughs> what is it? now what I did there is something a little bit interesting I actually do the harmonic on the A string but then immediately come down and hammer on. So again, I'm sort of replicating uh, an overdubbed 
uh, based on the original recording, but being able to perform it live, not just leaving it up to the guitarist uh, to do those harmonics, we keep it sort of real, we keep it on the bass. So what I do is... Now, you've got um, sort of an A, a B, a C, and an A pattern going on. You've got... Naturally. The next one's a little busier. It, it um, has the two hammer-ons on your um, A string where it goes... That's the third one. Sorry, I rushed ahead. Let's do the first one again. It is... And there's a little bit of A in between. Um, I don't know if he sort of gets a bit busier. Sorry. So, dun, 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 dun. sort of an idea. Uh, it sort of has a feel to it. It's not as stilted and straight, um, I don't think. I think there's a bit more uh, groove going on uh, in between the repetitions of those hammer-ons. So the first one, sorry, sorry guys, we'll do it very slow, it is. The next one is... So it's just, um, you hammer on both up to the D, A, sorry. You hammer on up to the A, and you hammer on up to the G, so to speak. I hope that makes sense. Now the third one's interesting because he comes up and what he does is he does a seventh. Um, so you've got your D, but you've also got a C sharp. And that just sounds lovely. Uh, every third repetition, this is the C pattern in the four bar main riff, fi figure one, I guess you'd call it if you put sheet music for it. So we'll go from the A, the B, the C. interesting part comes up next, uh, which is sort of the pre-chorus, Daddy didn't give attention, and Ament starts playing chords, and what he has is, it's just all around the A, and what he has is, and he still keeps um, pedaling, I suppose, the A with the hammer on down below. Let me play it for you one, more, one time through and hopefully give you an idea of how this works. So what he's got is... Oh, sorry. And we're up to the chorus. So what he does, um, he sort of hesitates from playing the, cor the chord um, straight away, and I, um, without having heard the song before sitting down doing this tutorial, I presume that it's accented by the drums, where he does finally play the chord. So what he's got is... Sorry. One, two, three. Daddy didn't give attention. Yep. So what you got is your... The chords are... So you got your A with a high E. The next one... Sorry, there's a bug about to fly in my mouth. The next one is A with a D. And an A with a D flat. is the chorus and there are two different variations on the chorus um, which go between 
how to explain. There's two variants on the chorus, um, but it doesn't happen until a little later in the song. I'll just teach you the main one. Let all notes ring in this song, by the way. Don't have, don't use, don't stop yourself from playing. Keep it going and um, let let all notes ring as much as you can. It's um, yeah. There, there's no sh short and sharp notes, even at the end where it comes down low with the. You know, there's no. No, there's no staccato. It's all let the notes ring. Anyway, so the chorus is, it's an A and then an F, and you let those ring. I was doing my, uh, B, uh, my A and B back to front. Anyway, um, again, I'm not playing along with the song and I'm just sort of having fun. Anyway, um, it is virtually the second verse is no different. There's no any fills or anything interesting. Oh, it's interesting, but there's nothing weird going on. Uh, it's very straight. I mean, it's just keeping the groove going, you know. Uh, it has the pre-chorus again, the... guitar chords are, I'm sorry, I'm just going to describe the bass. Um, and what this one does, in, instead of this one does and then it has a little bit of a walk, a little bit of a, um, I don't know, um, it sort of um, ascends in chord structure, so to speak. What it has is... Sorry, it's an E. And we're ready for the outro and um, yeah. So what happens there, um, you probably notice after I do something, I sort of just meander, sort of languish around the A uh, with an open and uh, A fretted on the 7th fretted octave up. And um, having a look at the sheet music, the tablature to this, um, I doubt very much Jeff and then plays it note for note as he recorded it back in 1990, all the way, all these years. I reckon he just sort of, you know, when he feels it, he feels it. He's not really... Li lo uh, He's not really doing anything like accenting anything on the drums. He's just sort of... Yeah, he's just sort of making it up, I think. Uh, even in the studio, he wouldn't have recorded it the same way twice, I guarantee. Anyway, um, yeah, so what we have there, sort of um, after the second repeat, as I mentioned, it does the change from a A, G... Spaces. There are some spaces in there. I think he goes bomb, 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 bomb. All right, we're up to the 
fun part. The fun part is the um, outro, uh, solo bass outro. Not a bass solo, it's just the bass by itself. And um, yeah, this one, one of the first things I learned when I was 17 or so, and it is instantly recognisable. You play this bass line and everyone knows what it is all the time, every time. Alright, so what you got, it's all pedaled around the A, the whole song is of course. And what you've got is A, E, D, uh, G, E. Okay, what am I doing? I'll swap to this leg. Okay, those are the first two. A, E, G, E. A, E, G, E. Uh, the next one is A, D, G flat. This one went down. This one goes open A, ninth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, up to open A, tenth fret, ninth fret, tenth fret. Yep, let's do those two together. And the last one is down a bit lower. You've got still open A, it's always open A. Fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, open. Seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. And it does that twice before coming back up and repeating that whole riff. So I'll play the whole thing one time through. Or I'll do it twice. repetition it has a rituando at the end where you slow down um, here's me trying to sound all musical and stuff uh, you slow down your riffage and um, you come to a sort of a nice uh, finish there with the harmonics so I'll play that second repetition where I'll slow down That's Jeremy by Pearl Jam. Um, I've been <laughs> waiting my whole adult life to do this video, I think. Um, and yep, there's going to be a cover of it coming up soon, so I'll stand up and put the strap on and rock out uh, to the recording. And um, yeah, um, I think you guys will enjoy it. So there you go. Um, yep, I'll talk to you soon. Right, bye.